Hi, I'm Zenobia Jacobs, Senior Research Fellow at the School of Earth and Environmental Sciences, University of Wollongong. Archaeology has always been part of my life. Growing up in rural northern South Africa, where we were sort of living in amongst the ruins of the early Iron Age people. So when I went to university to entertain this curiosity, I decided to do archaeology. In Southern Africa, working in two cultures called the Stolba and the Hauisenspoort is very exciting because it's two periods of where people just behaved in a very symbolic, very unusual ways, much different from those pre- and post-dating them. We had these pieces of engraved ochre, which we thought was the earliest pieces of art in the world. But we needed a dating method that could actually go further back than radiocarbon dating to be able to place this in the right time frame. We've known for a long time that there's a method where each individual grain has a little clock hidden in it, through which we can determine when they were last exposed to sunlight. So when in an archaeological site, grains get buried and hidden from sunlight, we can actually tell you how long ago that happened. And we can, in the lab, uh, measure the rate of radioactivity and the amount of luminescence it's emitting. And if we divide the one by the other, that equals the age of the sediment. With our method, we can produce accurate results for the last half million years. The L'Oreal Fellowship will give me the opportunity to change the focus of my research from Africa to Australia, where I can look at early archaeological deposits to uh, shed more light on the early entry of Aborigines into Australia. And Australia, of course, under you know, the direction of Bert Roberts, got the best luminescence laboratory in the world doing single grain aerosol dating. My passion is to know where we come from and how we uh, eventually got out of Africa to populate the rest of the world. So why did we, what was the catalyst for that dispersal out of Africa? Was it environmental, was it social, or was it perhaps a combination of that? So that's what's really driving my research at the moment.